Okay, this last video from section 10.2 examples uh, takes a look at what happens when you combine two series together. Say you take a convergent series and another convergent series. What happens when you add them? What happens when you subtract them? What happens when you take one of them and times it by a constant? It's what you would think. It converges. It doesn't stop it from converging. Okay. Let's look at multiplying by a constant. Let's take one of the ones from a previous example here. Um, the, the first geometric series times by seven. Do you really think that timesing by seven is going to stop a convergent geometric series from being a convergent geometric series? Nah. In fact, what you do is you pull the seven outside. The sum is what it was before. We did this in, uh, I, might, I think it might have been called example one. It was our first example of a geometric series and um, the sum was three. So this answer then is seven times three, 21. It'll be convergent and we know what it converges to. Okay. Here's an example of uh, adding two convergent series together. Let's take the geometric series that we have here and uh, one of the telescoping series that we did. I forget which example it was. Uh, it was the one with the partial fraction decomposition. They both converged. Um, the geometric converged to three, a sum of three, and the telescoping that was partial fraction decomposition converged to a sum of 11 over six. Yeah. Well, the new sum made by combining these two would just be the, uh, the difference here. Yeah. The new, the new, uh, series, which is made by the difference between these two. We just get three minus 11 over six. 18 minus 11 all over 6, 7, 6. Okay. So then you might ask yourself, okay, what about um, a convergent and a divergent? Or what about a uh, two divergent? The other way is to combine. So here's what we just did. Convergent with a convergent, no doubt about it. Add them together, subtract them, uh, multiply one of them by a constant. It will still be convergent. No doubt about it. Now let's mix them. Let's take one convergent and one divergent. Add them, subtract them, multiply the uh, divergent guy by a constant. Doesn't matter. Automatically, the series will be divergent. Okay, mix one divergent in the mix. Whole thing is divergent. Okay. So now the question becomes, what about two divergent? Is it possible to have two divergent end up as convergent when you add them together? Or when you subtract one from the other? The answer is yes. Let's take a look. If I have a divergent series and another divergent series, and I sub let's say subtract them, it's possible that I could end up in a telescopy. And so the um, harmonic series is divergent. We'll have to wait to the integral test to show you that. Uh, this, this slight alteration on the harmonic series, it's similar to the harmonic series. Plus three shouldn't change the fact that it's still divergent. And so um, for that one, to prove that one, we'll have to either do the integral test or we, we can do a comparison test. These are all tests that are to come. But both of these guys are divergent. But if you subtract the one from the other, um, the, the one over n plus three subtracted from the one over n, you actually end yourself uh, in the place of being with the um, telescoping series that we had from before, which we knew converged to 11 over six. So it very, it very much is possible to have two divergent series combined together to end up with a convergent series. Okay. All right. That's it. Eight videos full of examples in this introduction to series section. Hopefully you enjoyed them. Hopefully you learned a lot and hopefully you can use all that you've learned now to go do many problems. Thank you.